Akriti Sachdev for Mesmerized Makeup and as requested, this is the Spain shopping haul. So I went to Spain with my younger sister Anushka. We went for 10 days. Uh, we went to Barcelona, Ibiza, Madrid and we also went to like these cool museums like Figueres. We visited the uh, Salvador Dali Museum which was amazing. <laughs> And in Ibiza, we went to this beautiful island called Formentera, which a friend of mine recommended and we had such a good time. So if you want to see more pictures of my travels, you can visit my Instagram page where I've posted 15 second videos and pictures of my uh, holiday in Spain. Anyway, let's get started with the shopping haul. So the blazer I'm wearing, I bought from Spain, from Bershka. Okay, let me tell you, I went crazy in the shop called Bershka. Um, it's quite reasonable to be honest. I honestly prefer shopping in Spain. It's so much cheaper than shopping in India. Bershka, I bought a lot of stuff including this casual blazer. This was for about 32 euros, uh, which I think I'm going to convert and write the price down in the video while I'm editing. And the other thing I bought was this beautiful ring that I'm wearing. I can't get over this ring. I bought it from Madrid in a boutique. It's a beautiful ring made of brass and it's got seven semi-precious stones. Ruby, turquoise, Amethyst, Blue Sapphire, Fire Agate, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, A-G-A-T-E, Agate, Agate. Um, it's got a moonstone and garnet. Now, I'm not really into semi-precious stones, I, as in I don't know the science behind them, whether they actually have like a positive impact on your day-to-day -day life. But I just like the look of it. It looks so pretty and I love anything colourful, so I had to buy it. I paid around uh, 3,600 rupees, Indian rupees. Um, so yeah, I really liked it and I thought okay, this is so pretty and it goes with pretty much any outfit and it's such a statement ring and the first thing I thought is, oh my god, this is going to look so nice on my YouTube videos. Um, the other stuff I bought is this really cute top from Bershka. Again, trust me, most of my shopping is from Bershka. It's not really a crop top, but it's a perfect size and white is such a versatile color. You can pretty much wear it with any outfit and I really like the style. At the back you've got this whole crisscross thing going. So this was about 14 euros from Bershka. I think, huh? I removed all the price tags for some of them. I hope I'm right. Um, this top, for those of you all who have seen my photos, I did buy this from Madrid and I wore it in Spain as well. It's on my Instagram. Now this is really loose. This is an extra small. So it's like a shirt dress and I just bought like a brown belt while I was there. Literally, I didn't go with any clothes, I'm being serious. Um, so this is a really pretty, I love, again, as you can see, I'm crazy after colours. I love anything abstract, multicoloured. So um, I was a bit hesitant because Anushka didn't like it too much. And I wore it with a belt. Wait, where did I keep that belt? Okay, I'm going to show you the belt very soon. But as soon as you wear it with a belt, it looks really nice, like a figure hugging belt. It looks amazing. Okay, and this was for about 25 euros from Mango. The next one is a black crop top. I know this looks like a Barbie doll top. It's so tiny, but it's elastic and it fits really well. And again, it's black, it goes with anything. This is a size small and it's only 10 euros from Bershka. And I went to Zara and bought these beautiful palazzo pants. I love them. Check these out. These look so nice, especially when you pair this up with this black crop top, it looks super cute. While I was in um, Zara, I had already bought this and then I went to Zara. In the trial room, I wore this and when I was trying on these pants, I paired them up together, I took a selfie just to see whether I liked it. Let me actually post it here so that you can see it as well. This is for 22.95. Okay, 22 euros 95, extra small from Zara. I don't know why I'm telling you the size actually, <laughs> only the price. <laughs> And this top is from H&M. It's a nice pretty lace top. Oh, I just removed the tag. This is, okay, I'm not going to tell you the size. Anyway, it's size 36 in case you want to know. It was pretty loose, but I thought I'll just pair it with super tight pants and then it'll look okay. Um, oh, I found the belt. The belt I got from, I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't say on the tag, but this is the belt. Really nice high waist belt. So, yeah. I'll keep looking there because that's where the mirror is, guys. <laughs> And I also got a denim jacket. Let me show you. Uh, this is also from Bershka and it was I think around 32 euros which is quite reasonable for a really smart denim jacket. Um, let me try it on and show it to you. I'll be honest, the reason why I bought a denim jacket is because I felt a bit left out. Every second person on the streets was wearing denim. I was like, whoa, is this back in style? I don't know. But it looked really cool and the thing is, the weather in Spain 
There were days where it was really hot, days where it was freezing cold at night and I think denim jacket was perfect because it didn't make you feel too hot or too cold. So I guess for the weather, denim jacket is just perfect. So yeah, here it is. I really like the color. I was so confused what color to buy, whether to buy a light blue, dark blue, navy blue, but this is just the right denim blue, which I loved. Um, so yes, this is a really cool jacket and I can't wait to wear it. I don't know, I'm not going to wear it in Chennai for sure, but hopefully on flights, I freeze on flights. So I guess this is a cool um, option for flights. My sister was like, you just want to buy everything you see, right? Just another excuse to shop because I am quite a shopaholic and believe it or not, these are the only clothes that I bought and I'm really happy with myself. <laughs> so let me just show you the other stuff that I bought. I also bought two pairs of wedges and I'm a little embarrassed to show you because for the first time I bought the same design, the same style in two different colors and I normally don't do this, check it out, from Bershka, um, they're the same, exactly the same, okay, but they were so comfortable, I tried on the black and I was like wow this is so comfortable and it's quite hard to find good reasonable shoes in India, these were about 30 euros, it's mainly because of comfort, it was so comfortable and I had to buy it, okay, and both of these are from Bershka. And my size is 36, <laughs> in case you want to know. And when it comes to bags, I bought two, three different styles. This one is from Bershka. It's a tan bag, like a sling bag. And I, this looks great with denims. And this was again for 30 euros. I feel like everything I bought was 30 euros for some reason. <laughs> and this particular one was also from Bershka. I love this. This is such a pretty beach bag. I'm a beach baby. I'm always running towards the beach. I love chilling by the beach, soaking up the sun. I mean... Oh, anything to do with the beach. Check out the lining. Isn't the lining so pretty? The black and white lining. So yeah, this was cool. And this was, uh, let me think, I think 20, 20 euros or 22 euros. Very reasonable actually. The other bag I bought was this particular one from Mango. This was again around 30 to 32 euros. And uh, this size is perfect, especially when you're traveling <laughs> and you want to sneak in a few extra kilos. Just dump everything in this bag and you can get away with any flight. Ryanair, we had such a bad experience with Ryanair actually. The last bag I'm going to be showing you is this cute little suitcase. Um, this is perfect for my bridal and it's quite heavy because it's got all my bridal kit packed inside. I'm rushing for a bridal right after this video. Um, and this was again about, I'm not joking, I swear, 30 euros, believe it or not, 30 euros from a random shop, from a random suitcase shop. It didn't have a name, really hope it lasts long, I'm not sure about the quality. Um, but yeah, these were the bags and oh, you guys know I'm obsessed with makeup pouches. Every country I go to, I have to buy at least one makeup pouch. So I'm just going to be showing you a few tiny ones I bought. I didn't spend too much on them, but these are all from H&M. Really cute, uh, what is this, like floral bags. This one... This one and this boho type of, all from H&M. I think they were all about four, five euros each. Now I'm sure a lot of y'all don't know this, but I love collecting stuff for the house and kitchen. So I bought a pink whisk, silicone whisk, and I also bought a pink matching spatula. Um, so I really thought this was so cute and I love baking. So whenever I see anything to do with baking, I always pick them up and it's also like a souvenir from Spain. Okay, and the other thing I bought was, okay, it's a little embarrassing, but a chopping board. How cool is this shape? I've never seen this shape. I'm pretty sure you will find it in India. Please don't tell me and make me feel bad. But I really like the shape of like a cheese board slash chopping board slash serving plate. Serving, what is it called? Plate? No. Platter. Yeah, serving platter sort of thing. And I bought lots of Thuron. This is the only one left. There are different types of Thuron, but I feel like Thuron is like the chikki which you get in India. Pretty much the same thing. And paella there is like biryani. Okay, it's not the same flavor, but I kept eating paella and thinking of biryani for some weird reason. I don't know why. Um, I got this really cute mosaic mug from Barcelona. This is inspired by Antoni Gaudi. He is a really famous architect and so inspiring. What a man. I think most of Barcelona, all the monuments, everything's inspired by Gaudi. The most visited monument in Spain is called Sagrada Familia. And that's also made by Gaudi. It's such a beautiful cathedral. And the cutest thing, I think the best thing I've bought in this trip is this set of cups and saucers. Okay, I can't wait to show you guys. It's so cute and colorful, of course. And I love the size. Um, check this out, guys. How adorable are these, really? 
Okay, they're not huge, but what makes them so unique is the size. I really like the small size of them and you can also bake them. I was thinking when I looked at them, I was like, huh, I can make chocolate mousse, um, probably like mint tea after your meal, <laughs> call people home. So yeah, this was one of the best things I bought. I bought this at the airport in a souvenir shop. So I did get a little bit ripped off. I think I paid around 50 euros, which I still feel is worth it for a Gaudi inspired tea set. I also bought a ring from Barcelona, sterling silver ring, and it's just an abstract A. I don't know what it was. To me, it looked like a very abstract A. So I was like, oh, this is so cute, let me buy it. <laughs> I don't know, I like all these cheesy things. Okay, so this is an abstract A ring. Okay, oh, A ring. I bought was like, um, how cute is this? Studded lipstick pen. Okay, I thought this was super cute. The last thing I bought was a visiting card case. Um, so yeah, you can just keep a couple of cards in. And it was pink and it's metallic. Had to buy it. So yes, that's pretty much my Spain shopping haul. I did buy quite a lot now that I think of it. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Bye.